Hey guys, Thunder E here, and I've got another gaming laptop review for you. This time it is the Lenovo Legion 7i. Now, this is a really light gaming laptop in terms of weight. It's about five pounds, feels lighter than five pounds. Um, and it is a 15 inch laptop from Lenovo. Uh, it packs the Intel Core i7 10750H. It's a six core laptop. Uh, but I'm just gonna get right into the nitty gritty. The first thing is just one thing that really annoyed me with this laptop that I don't like. It's the trackpad. Trackpad, basically once you press down, you can see a gap between the lap, uh, trackpad and the, and the keyboard which is a bit annoying. And also the second uh, mouse click takes up most part of the trackpad, which I just found quite annoying. But of course, it's a gaming laptop. I'm using a wired or wireless um, uh, mouse. So that's actually fine. The keyboard itself is really soft, but you will get used to it in terms of usability. So that aspect is fine. Now, as I mentioned, 15 inch laptop, I do like the design. I like this design language that uh, Lenovo has been going with. It's pretty solid overall. In terms of ports, you've got, of course, two USB type C ports on your left hand side. One is a Thunderbolt port uh, and you cannot charge with that port. So sorry about that. Headphone jack on the right. There's a single USB on the right hand side. Sorry, headphone jacks on the left. USB on the right. Then when you move to the back of the device, you've got your ethernet port. Uh, you've got two USBs, HDMI out, and of course the charging port. And of course vents, the vents on the sides, the vents at the back, and the vents at the bottom of the device. I did try to open it up. I didn't have any success. I haven't seen anyone who has. So I would say don't venture to open it up in case you wanted to replace any internals. Uh, but this packs a 2070 Max-Q and it's priced about $1,700. Pricing wise, it's pretty nice for what you get with it. I've got a terabyte, terabyte of storage, uh, Intel's uh, six core processor here, and some performance is really good. Now, I'm not gonna do a Cinebench R20 for whatever reason, it keeps showing an Intel graphics card here on Cinebench, so whenever I try to run it, it gives me some really abysmal numbers, so. That's besides the point. But what I'm gonna do is showcase a lot more gaming for you on this laptop here. Now, there are a couple of things to note. Uh, the laptop has some very simple and basic functionalities in terms of using the, of course, RGB keyboard and also changing some of the uh, fan speed temperatures. You know, function and Q button really just switches between uh, quiet mode, auto mode, and of course, performance mode. So you can take advantage of this laptop and then function and tapping on the uh, uh, spacebar basically cycles between the different RGB color sets that you have. So that's very simple, that's very basic. Now in terms of gaming performance, this actually games really well. Uh, first off, we ran some benchmark on, of course, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, uh, and the average benchmark for that was about 90 frames per second, because mind you, I forgot to mention this earlier, this is a 240 hertz 15 inch display. It's 1080p display, 240 hertz. Uh, really nice, especially at that performance rate to get 90 hertz for Tomb Raider at, of course, ultra or max settings. Now, when we move over to Doom Eternal, and we run this at, um, of course, max settings there, uh, uh, we're getting roughly between 114 frames all the way to 70 frames per second. The average is about 140 frames per second. A running Doom Eternal on this 240 hertz display. So uh, you can see where has, as far as the 2070 Max-Q will actually push you in terms of gaming. Uh, then uh, finally, of course, playing some uh, COD uh, Warzone. Uh, Warzone we're doing between uh, about 89 to about 100 frames per second, uh, which is really nice. It ran really well. 240 hertz, again, playing at that faster frame rate really gives you much more in terms of just performance. Now, with all that at performance, what kind of temperatures were, were we getting? Uh, temps went up to about 105 degrees. What I really like about this laptop, it stays cool. Uh, it stays really, really cool. I like that. I like uh, the fact that I don't feel like my fingers are burning. With some laptops I've used this year, uh, which were great, great performance, but you know, this actually stays pretty cool in terms of uh, ga uh, gaming performance for a gaming laptop. 
Now, when, it, when you're talking about uh, sound, how loud is it? Because of course the fans are gonna kick in much higher and in performance mode with the fans, you know, blurring up, it didn't pass 57 decibels, which was actually pretty nice to see. And in quiet mode is about 41 to 42 decibels. So really quiet as well. So you can take this with you. You can do a lot of work uh, around people and you'll be fine. So battery life was actually pretty solid, about four hours or so of just general use on a gaming laptop. Of course, all gaming performance, the laptop was plugged in for that, but it is really nice to see that there. Now, the functionality of this laptop that I do like, as I mentioned, is the cooling. Cooling is great. You've also got extensive RGB lighting as well, and those back vents do light up on the laptop. So if you're looking for something like that, that's actually something it can do. I think overall, it's a nice laptop. There are some things I don't like, that I've experienced is the trackpad, the keyboard is a bit mushy. Uh, also the front facing camera, uh, it's, it's 720p, it's really not worth it. There's no Windows Hello functionality in there. Uh, it's literally just you know using your pen if you want to log into the laptop and use. But the gaming experience for me was really solid. I like that and I think you're getting a decent deal here. But if some of those things are things that you don't care about and if maybe the trackpad is something that's really important, then this night might not be the laptop for you, but I thought the overall experience was really solid overall for me. So there you have it. If you have any questions or any comments, let me know. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.